I'm going to take you briefly to Perth. We're going there live. We've had the Albanese uh, cabinet ministers uh, flocking over there this week. This is the industry and science minister, Ed Husick, making an announcement, talking about the nation's science strategy at a school. Let's listen in. And so being able to get the balance right about the amount of money that the government puts into the economic system uh, and dealing with those challenges, there's a lot of things that we're having to factor and take into account as we make decisions around, for example, uh, scientific investment. But again, I think there is a recognition, and the reason why we're doing all this is there's a recognition that this is an investment in terms of know-how and applying that know-how to not just build a stronger economy and create more jobs, but improve quality of life. We've seen that happen through very smart Australians making contributions in different fields, from health to environment, for example. We want that to continue. We want that investment to be there and we'll make those decisions in a very structured way. Uh, just on the NRF, before I've got to you, mm -hmm. um, the Prime Minister yesterday linked uh, AUKUS to industry policy mm -hmm. and, and the NRF specifically. Um, both the NRF and AUKUS are probably going to come with significant funding with them. Yep. So how will that be leveraged for a company, say a quantum company that has the dual, that might have a dual use of defence and civilian? Uh, how, how would that money, like how are you going to leverage that money where should that quantum company be looking to get funding for this? If you look at these two, if you look at these initiatives, there's a lot in terms of AUKUS or the National Reconstruction Fund and the broader consideration about policy to support industry, uh, the PM uh, singled out in terms of our own know-how and our own smarts, in terms of innovation, science, technology, and the way it could be implied in different areas, uh, can uh, and does make a difference. Uh, in defence. Defence is uh, one of the priority areas for the National Reconstruction Fund. We want to be able to have that growth capital available for firms that can make a contribution in terms of national security and defence and through the course of that obviously generate economic commercial value and create jobs too. And uh, so that is a priority in, in amongst those seven priority areas of the NRF. And there's obviously a lot of thinking going on within AUKUS and the application of defence procurement for industry uh, ends and outcomes. A lot of that thinking uh, is happening too. Uh, and we are very conscious of the fact that, uh, I mean, we've got this now AUKUS arrangement that the coalition's brought in after fumbling, frankly, a lot of defence procurement and big projects in times past. We need to get stability in that space so that we can see really good industry outcomes. Uh, and there's also recognition within government that we do invest a lot of taxpayer dollars, and particularly in terms of defence procurement, there are a lot of taxpayer dollars going in there. The maximisation of that and the value of maximising the value of that procurement onshore as much as we can is really important too. Industry policy can help guide that, plus some of the other levers that we're bringing to bear in this space. And the great thing about what the Prime Minister is doing is connecting all these things together to have the maximum effect and benefit for the country.